Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watch a series of videos. So this is the second video of Scratchpad, Scratchpad 2. And in this video, we will see uh, like how to use drag on specific particles. Like we have particles with different size. So if I want, if the particle size is 10, I want more drag. If it is less than that, less drag. Or maybe the, if the particle is red, let's use the more drag. If the particle has more velocity, let's use the more drag or maybe if you have different shapes so like stars and moons and if you want like let's use the more drag on moons but less on the stars so you can do that thing with simple trick with scratch pad so let's take you have this fountain okay and here let's say you have this uh, velocity and in the size we have let's turn off the mask if in the size we have two sizes actually uh, two values but size is between 6 and 12 so instead of this let's say you have just for now for now you have just two different sizes 50% are 1 and 50% are maybe 10 so you can see some particles are smaller some are bigger and that is distributed uh, not randomly percentage wise okay so they are just two sizes one and ten and divided by like percentage 50 percent and i want these big particles should have more drag so if i increase the drag like 10 it's applying on both particles smaller and bigger i want to just use that on bigger so what you can do you can create a scratch pad and first of all in the drag you can check here what it writes it writes physical drag in case if you want to use that anywhere you can use you can uh, check any module like in gravity it's right physical force and like in here it writes velocity so you can check what it reads what it writes okay so let's create our scratch pad and the name will be custom drag actually this module will not do anything with drag it will just give you the condition where you can use the drag so you can uh, okay let's rename it custom drag we are not tweaking drag here anyway so let's say we are working on size for now so you can make a size of particle and this is vector 2d so you can break this oops sorry you can break this and just take the x x if you want so if my x is greater than or less than let's say greater than any value you can make it float and then connect it here and and rename it um, my size if my particle size is greater than this what should happen I'll make a float and then make a boolean I have if this is greater than I have one value if this is less than that I have zero so I have basically boolean zero and one and then we can just make a float or yeah rename um my size if if size and you can make it like particles and connect it here hit apply nothing will happen now in the drag we have this 10 and if i use the lerp and now if i make one value is 0 one is 10 and if I make the alpha 0, it's using that one value that is 0 drag. So there is no drag. If I make it 1, it's using the second value that is higher drag. So here we can use if size. And that scratch pad should be above the drag. So if size. And now.
here in the stretch pad we have my size i'll use the one and see if the size is one drag is zero if the size is greater than one drag is higher and you can use it for anything like we are using for drag we can copy this and we have the gravity here let's move it up so in the gravity we can also use the lerp and paste that here and here i have default gravity and here we have zero gravity so the bigger particle doesn't have any gravity smaller particle have full gravity and now you can use that uh, percentage like normal random value like one in ten and then in the custom drag you can increase or decrease this value depending on that because we have random particle size cool thing so now you have uh, like a uh, falling debris and you want the bigger debris should fall little faster so you can use that more drag on smaller so like we do that so instead of this let's say we we take the box and i'll make this zero and zero and then i delete this and we have just velocity so we have something falling from there something falling from there and let's say i have just 50 particles and i want actually inward value so in the drag I want like 10 here and 0 here and let's let's for now use that thing If this is greater than, then I should not should work. So we have two sizes, and depending on that, okay, okay. I actually I took the gravity. I will reset the gravity, and now we have different thing actually. It's working on. Uh, it should work on smaller because bigger chunks have more weight so they will fall fast and smaller chunks have low weight less weight they will fall slow so this is how you can make actual thing although there is also the mass here which calculate this kind of same thing but you can also do that so you want these bigger one have more uh, bright color you can do that also so in the color, uh, let's say you have overall red color and in color, let's make this float and then you can use the lerp and just paste it here. So you have now like uh, one and one and now you can make it like 10. So bigger one are bright or you can make smaller one bright. They are very small also. You need to see the brightness. So you can just do that. So this is the second thing you can do with particles. Okay. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.